Hi guys, David Michael here. I wanted to show you guys a plant and I'm going to show it to you again after the berries come on it just because it's it makes it really distinct and gives you a better understanding of how to identify the plant so that the following season when you get more familiar with it you can utilize it. Even though there are some features that are pretty unmistakable. I want to show you Sarsaparilla and I really like this one in particular out of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sarsaparilla plants because it's right next to a baby sassafras tree. And so many people are getting sassafras and sarsaparilla mixed up. I grew up harvesting sassafras for a tea that the Food and Drug Administration has since banned. And it was the original root beer. And some people are going to argue and say that it's sarsaparilla. But the reality of it is true root beer, as in A&W and Barks, and all the other companies that are simulating a specific flavor comes from the sassafras tree, the roots of that sassafras tree. Not that you cannot make a root beer out of sarsaparilla, but they're very two distinct plants with two different causes and two different effects upon consumption. One is a preventative uh, medicine and got some other attributes that we're going to discuss and the other one is just great root beer and if it's you use it in a summer sun tea the root bark from it it will help your body distribute the proper nutrients that it needs it helps with electrolytes it stimulates all that rather than giving your body electrolytes and causing your body to stop distributing and manufacturing the proper process of hydrokinesis in hot water. Anyway, I want to show you the top of this plant. <clears throat> and if you look at the top of this plant, it almost resembles like a young pignut hickory, maybe a young ash. But if you look at the stalk, the stalk is long, slender, not woody, and it bracks out to three brackets and on each bracket is a compound leaf of five to three leaves so it is a compound and it has a single leafless stem and makes it pretty unique now if we go over here to the hickory tree behind dawn which is right here we'll see that the bracts don't join together at the same spot and there's many more than three on this compound leaf this baby pig nut hickory and you can see that it is a tree it is woody and instead of being one central stalk that breaks out three times into compound leaves the pestle or leaf axis that attaches itself to this young tree isn't in bracts it does that alternately so even though the top of this baby pignut hickory tree looks a little bit like sarsaparilla, it's easy to tell the difference because this obviously doesn't have bark and this bracket perfectly breaks out at the same point. There's a young Katie did, by the way, on the top of this leaf, which I think is adorable. So we won't harvest this one. We'll leave the Katie did be. Now right here, the top of this plant is sassafras. Now sassafras usually has three varieties of leaves on it. I call it the three-fingered Martian. And then it has a thumb, which I think there's one right under here. No, nope, no thumb on this one. And then just a single leaf. But there's another one that looks just like a thumb. Instead of having three, it just has one. So there's three different leaves on a sassafras tree. Um, this one's insect eat up pretty good. I don't see the single thumb on this one. 
It's a bummer because I'd like to show it to you. Anyway, the root of this sapling, I'm going to do a whole video on. And this is where original root beer came from and also the summer sun tea for sassafras. I'll do a video on that when Don and I harvest it. I usually harvest it in the spring. I might do a fall harvest uh, just to get the YouTube channel kicked off. And the sarsaparilla, what it can be used for is you can cure wounds if you're out and about and you don't have a place to deal with a scratch or a cut or a wound you can pull this root you can wash it and you can apply it as a poultice it's also used for a tonic what i would use it for is it gives you an energy boost and improves cognition and endurance the tonic would be just a quarter of a teaspoon of the dried bark steeped in water and then added to a tea rather than an alcohol base or a whiskey. That's what I would use sarsaparilla for. Now this gets a berry drupal on it that's purple and pretty unmistakable. So I'm going to show you guys pictures of that later on. And the way to harvest this, I think I'm going to move over to another plant and leave this Katie did be and show you how harvesting just one plant really is all you need for a year's supply of, you know, making a tonic to boost your energy levels and cognition. But we have plenty of medicines in our cabinet that really are just as good as this, unless you're definitely into the natural remedy. This one's been broken, stepped on. So I'm going to clear the derbis here and show you what this root looks like. This root can be anywhere from 3 feet long to 20 feet long connecting to other plants. So what I like to do is stop the root and let these other plants go and harvest as much as I need, which usually I won't need for my yearly use of tonic I won't need more than I'd say about three foot of root it'll go straight down to a root quite a ways and then it'll go left or right so finding that is the hardest part and you can bring a garden fork with you or something along those lines I try not to disturb other plants or harvest from an area where there's endangered plants or harvest sarsaparilla in an area where there isn't a lot oh that's a long one this is a long one this one's gonna go way way back I got my fingers on it now and it's gonna go way back under me so for this one I think I am gonna take about a foot and a half of it show you the identification features again tell you what I'm gonna do with it and let me try to there we go <clears throat> all right this thing would have gone for another six to twelve feet and it'll have places on it where it connects to other plants. This has a broken leaf axle. You can see the long straight stem with three axles to a compound leaf, which has three to five. Some of the people that I've talked to or seen videos on that have done demonstrations with this plant have described different medicinal uses than I've ever used it for. I'm never going to do a video on something I personally haven't done unless it's an endangered plant that I've never picked or harvested and we're only doing it out of interest. This particular plant, the videos that I've seen, they address it as having definite five compound. But I can show you several here that don't. This one has four. This one has three. This one has five. I can show you hundreds and hundreds of these sarsaparilla plants that don't meet that criteria. I've got my knee on one here. 
You can see the top of it looks a lot different than, say, the baby pig nut hickory that's behind Dawn. I'm going to show you that one more time. The top of the sarsaparilla right here. And the top of the pig nut hickory. This has a long central stalk that goes out to a bracket of three. This just has a tree trunk that has its own compound leaf petioles coming right off the trunk. This, by the way, is in the family of ginseng. A lot of powerful medicine involved. Do some research because there's much more medicinal value to this root bark than I've described in this video. It is easy to identify once the seeds are on it, and I will do another video to show you that in case you're nervous about it, but it makes it unmistakable. And once you've been around this a few times, it'll be pretty easy to identify. It's pretty aromatic. When you chew on it, it's zingy on your tongue. Kinda, to me, it feels like I'm being poked a little bit with pins. Aurelia nudicollis. The nudity refers to the nude stem, and Aurelia, of course, is the ginseng family. Hey, safe foraging, everybody. If you like these videos, please hit the like button. If you want to see more made like it, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified to any of the new videos that Don and I decide to upload through the season of harvest that we're going to do this year, please hit the bell icon and you'll be notified. Happy foraging, guys.